tell you right. I'll start again. This, this tribute to me at Telluride is proving to be as enchanting as the invitation to come here was completely unexpected. Now, what I'm going to say next is a, 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 a version of a hairy old platitude, but when 50 years ago this year, I took my first uncertain steps on the stage as an actor with professional actors. Had anyone suggested to me that half a century later I would be up a rocky <laughs> in a grand old Opry <laughs> being festooned with medals wandering and relaxing with old and new friends and colleagues, watching the better part of five decades of my life tumble on the screen in Bill Pence's startlingly good compilation in the company of the new generation O'Toole, my son, Lorcan, I might have said that that would be unlikely. <laughs> it has proved to be not only likely, but to be the case. And I am... I'm scratching the microphone. I'm deeply grateful and highly honored. Thank you very much indeed. Now, I'm not going away. I'm about to be interrogated. <laughs> Found oh, look at this. We have a table. I hope it has some water on it. And an ashtray. A big one. Fire away and don't spare me. <laughs> As I was studying uh, your memories of some of your earlier years and then looking at these wonderful clips from a magnificent career. I think I must tell you that you made the right decision in not remaining as a film critic. <laughs> Is it true that when you were 16 you did film notices? Uh, I did. Yes. Yes. And then went into the Navy and then joined that amazing group of actors. Uh, Michael Caine, Albert Finney, yourself. You were all that generation that came along and simply transformed the British cinema. Um, accurately, um, in 1953, at the RADA in London, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, there was uh, Albert Finney, Alan Bates, me, I, I always miss people out so they get very upset, doesn't matter, <laughs> uh, Frank Finley, on and on and on and on. We were a remarkable little group. And we all moved into the theatre, as well as the cinema. And uh, all of us are still alive, which is even more amazing. <laughs> was there a sense of competition in those days, or was it more as if you were mates, so setting out on the no adventure? No actor you? worth his salt doesn't know what competition means. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in, the, uh, in the older days, in the, in the, what, in the early 19th century, the 1800s, um, theatre uh, was on a par with uh, what the present day, boxing. <laughs> it had as much excitement, as much 
fancy Edwin Booth and Edwin Keane together at Drury Lane in 18, whatever it was, 16, 18, 17. Uh, competing, playing Othello and Iago. Yeah, there's always been a very healthy sense of, of, of competition between us. And this is what makes it in interesting.